hello everyone so today we will learn about some more types of fractions as we have studied in our previous sessions that the numbers the fractions which are having the same denominator are called as like fractions yes these are called as like fractions and the fractions where the numerator is smaller than the denominator you can see the numerators are smaller than the denominator these are called as proper fractions these are called as proper fractions and the proper fractions always are less than 0 and sorry greater than 0 and less than 1 always so we have learned about like fractions proper fractions now let's move to the next part let's take some few examples here let's draw some let's take three rectangles yes now I have taken three rectangles here okay now now let me divide these three rectangles into four equal parts now I have divided these three rectangles into four equal parts now I want some of the parts from each rectangle I am taking all of the parts from it in this I want all four again here again I am taking not four but only one I am happy with one only okay now let's see if I ask you to write the fraction for this shaded region what you will be writing total number of parts will go in the denominator total shaded parts will go in the numerator same way we will be doing here 4 by 4 total shaded part is 1 and 4 total number of equal parts now as we have done the addition of like fractions yes so here also we will be adding all the fractions now let's see what will come you can just count it from the figure as well the numerator will comes the total shaded part 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 this is the ninth one so total shaded parts are 9 and how many parts are there in each object or each rectangle total are 4 so 9 by 4 will become my fraction or the other way is adding all the numerators and denominator being the same so 4 plus 4 plus 1 gives me 8 by 4 so here the answer comes to be 8 by 4 okay so sorry 9 by 4 9 by 4 so in this both we have taken the fraction by dividing the fractions and I have written these fractions by using some of the models right now let's see what this fraction is can you s observe something in this 9 is greater this is the numerator which is greater than the denominator yes we can see from these 9 by 4 9 is greater than the denominator these kind of fractions where numerator is greater than the denominator are called as proper fractions are called as proper not proper they are not proper they are improper so these are called as improper fractions proper are those in which the numerator is less than the denominator so these fractions are called as improper fractions now let's take some more examples I will be writing some of the numbers here 
and let's identify that which number is proper which is improper okay let's start with the first one 9 by 4 here the numerator is greater than the denominator so this is an improper fraction 45 by 36 again it's an improper fraction 91 by 30 no 100 no it's not an improper fraction because numerator is smaller than the denominator 36 by 45 again this is not an improper numerator is smaller 7 by 9 again this is not an improper fraction only 9 by 4 and 45 by 36 are the improper fractions yes got it great now let's take some more examples if I take 7 by 10 4 by 6 13 by 11 and 14 by 20 now from these which will be the improper fraction just find in which the numerator is this is not an improper no 13 by 11 here the numerator is greater than the denominator so this is an improper fraction so these fractions are called as improper fractions now let's take one more example I am again taking three rectangles here and I will divide each rectangle into three equal parts I am dividing it into three equal parts now I want some parts of each rectangle three of this again I want three of this now I'm satisfied with one or two of this let's say two fine now I want you to write the fractions for these shaded regions let's say this is 3 by 3 total shaded region by total number of equal parts total shaded region by total number of equal parts now what will be the fraction 3 plus 3 plus 2 or count this 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so total 8 are the shaded region and each part or each object has how many equal parts 3 denominator will not be changing in this never okay so I got 8 by 3 here which is an improper fraction now can I say this can be written as one whole this can be written as one whole and this as 2 by 3 can I say that yes I can write it like this why this is one complete whole yes this is one complete whole and from this one complete whole that is 3 I have taken two parts so now I can say that I can add two complete holes which comes out to be 2 and the fraction part I can write it as 2 by 3 now can I say that this number is comprising of this number is comprising of two parts what are those this is the whole number whole number part and this is the fractional part are you all getting it so the number in which there are two parts the whole number as well as the fractional part these numbers are called as mixed numbers what are these called as mixed numbers now see from this only one figure I have shown you how to write the fractions and then the improper fraction from that and convert this fractions to the whole number or the fractional part which is a mixed number so it's very easy this is the basic concept you should know that what 2 2 by 3 means 2 means 2 complete whole and 2 by 3 means 2 parts out of the third whole so I'm getting 2 complete whole there so what does it mean that means 8 by 3 it's having 2 complete whole in it 
so how many 3 can comes in 8 2 3's can fix in this yes as we have seen here 2 3's we have taken and next how many left 2 left out of 3 so improper fraction can be converted to mixed numbers using models right now let's see the other way of converting the improper to the mixed number now let's see if I have taken number let's take a small number 8 by 5 now the other way of converting improper fraction to mixed number is by division now I will be dividing the numerator with the denominator divide it 5 times 1 gives me 5 only 1 can comes in 8 only 5 times 1 can come in this 5 8 minus 5 gives me 3 and this is the remainder now our question this is our question this will become our whole number part and this remainder will become our numerator and the denominator remains the same the r this number yes so this way we are going to we are going to change the improper fraction to the mixed number so this 1 by 3 is what 1 is the quotient and here it comes the remainder fractional part divided by denominator you are dividing it by the denominator yes or no yes so this comes like this 1 3 by 5 I have done nothing I have just divided the numerator with the denominator now it should be clear to you that how improper fraction is converted into mixed number yes now let's take one more example okay let's take 11 by 7 now how can you convert this into let's divide 11 by 7 <coughs> 7 times 1 can fit in this 11 minus 7 gives you 4 so this is my remainder so what is the formula for this Q R by D yes Q R by D Q stands for question am I right this R stands for remainder and this is our denominator which will not change so this is a short formula to convert mixed number sorry the improper fraction to the mixed number <coughs> yes am I clear now so how you will be writing this this is our or you can say this is the denominator or you are this is the divisor also both numbers this is a divisor also right so the mixed number will be questioned is 1 remainder is 4 denominator or the divisor is 7 1 4 by 7 now let's see now have converted improper to mixed number now how to convert this back to the improper fraction this is again a very good big task 1 4 by 7 this is the whole number part and this is the fractional part right this is a mixed number I have shown this in the model also okay let's me take one more model 1 by 4 by 7 how I will be representing this using a model there are there is one complete whole this one whole can I say this is 7 by 7 
because total parts are seven in the denominator that means each model is divided into seven equal parts yes one two three four five six and seven and from this first they have taken all the parts and from this they have taken four of it am i clear so this become one complete whole and this becomes four by seven which gives you a whole number and a mixed improv in the fraction part this is the mixed number and always remember this fractional is always the proper fraction always the proper fraction why because this numerator is always less than the denominator this because we have already taken one whole out of it so no chance of get numerator becoming bigger than the denominator right now how to convert this into improper fraction so there is a rule seven times you just multiply it by one seven multiply by one plus four plus four by seven so what i have done denominator i have multiplied the denominator by the whole number and i have added the numerator in it i have added the numerator in it and by the denominator this will give me the improper fraction 7 times 1 is 7 plus 4 is 11 back to back to the square so this is nothing but the vice versa okay let let me take a uh, one more example uh, say let's take a small example 4 by 3 divide 4 by 3 3 times 1 gives me 3 minus remainder is 1 what is the formula Q R by D Q is the question that is 3 yes R remainder that is 1 and D is the denominator this is 3 so 3 1 by 3 and if I turn this again into the improper I'll multiply the denominator by the whole number and I will add the remainder 3 times 3 plus 1 by 3 see it will always go in the clockwise clock moves like this yes so we are multiplying it first and then we are adding it which gives us the numerator that is 3 3 is a 3 times 3 gives me yes I have made a mistake here see a big mistake yes thank you for correcting me let's see question is 1 remainder is 1 and the denominator is 3 it will come out to be 1 1 by 3 now I can multiply this and add this it will go in the clockwise so 3 times 1 plus the 1 by 3 it gives me 4 by 3 so I have converted the mixed number into improper fraction this is the way how we are going to convert it right now let's see if I ask you 4 by 3 is equal to just fill in the numbers <coughs> how you will be filling it how many holes are coming this is the whole number part yes or no without division also you can do it how many three can fit in four one so one hole how many left remainder one simple 
let's take more example 7 by 4 okay now I leave this as blank 3 okay so this is the whole number part yes so how many whole how many 4 can fit in 7 1 1 complete whole can fit in 7 the remainder is 3 and here what will come the denominator so 1 3 by 4 we can write it as 1 3 by 4 let's take some more examples uh, let's say 15 by 7 a bigger number now I'm giving you all three blanks so this is the whole number part and this is the fractional part this is the fractional this is a fraction and this is the whole number so just do it in your mind how many 7 can come in 15 how many 7 can fit in 15 2 7 because 7 times 2 gives me 15 so 2 times 7 so 2 total 2 whole we get and what is the remainder 15 minus 14 gives me 1 denominator 7 so 2 1 by 7 is my answer so class this is the way how we convert the numbers and now we have learned what are mixed numbers what are mixed numbers what is improper fraction how to convert vice versa now let's see other topic related to this how to compare how to compare mixed numbers as you have already done how to convert improper fraction to mixed number and mixed number to improper fraction and vice versa let me take some different example so how you will be comparing these two mixed numbers first I will be changing this mixed number into improper fraction how 2 times 7 first I will find out the numerator plus 1 first times plus plus 1 by 2 2 times 3 plus the remainder or plus the numerator by 2 so what is the number we are getting here 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 15 by 2 and that this is 3 times 2 6 plus 7 7 by 2 now you can easily differentiate which one is bigger definitely this 15 by 2 is bigger so now let's take some more example 3 3 3 by 4 4 1 by 4 now just compare these two fractions how you will compare convert to improper fraction first denominator will remain the same we have to find a numerator multiply 4 times 3 gives you 12 plus 3 gives me 15 do it directly 4 times 4 gives me 16 plus 1 gives me 17 which is bigger 17 by 4 is bigger as simple as that so class this is the way how we compare the mixed fractions how we convert mixed number to improper fractions and through the models also you i think it is very much clear now now so class please keep on practicing and take care have a nice day